Bring that uh, left arm up a little bit. Then just bend down a little bit more at the core. There you go. The Jefferson curl, it looks so wrong, but it's so right. Kind of like a round back deadlift. Great mobility movement for the spine, but you gotta take it slowly, okie dokie. My favorite back exercise is the deadlift. It is technically also a leg exercise, but for my money, it's more of a back exercise. It's the one that I prioritize basically on a weekly basis. And you know, I've, you know, various deadlifts. It's incredible for developing the entirety of the posterior chain, which includes the back muscles, you know, especially good for the erectors, but I think also great for those traps because how could it not be great for the traps when they're getting that big weighted stretch at the top there? So what's the best back deadlift? The best back deadlift specifically? I would say probably some kind of deficit, deficit hex bar. Oh, I'm just saying, I... Yeah, but the hex, you don't get as much of a, you know, like actual range of motion as you would with conventional, because you're almost like more upright the whole time. Uh, it depends, depends on how you... The top bar would be more trapped. Perhaps, yeah, but maybe it also depends on exactly how you're pulling it, like if you're, just how upright you are versus how forward you are, you know? Because you can actually do... Um, Kind of like a modified good morning, even with the hex bar. Yeah. Outside of just developing the back though, it's just incredible for function, for athleticism, just for longevity. So highly recommend you include some kind of deadlift in your regular workout routine. Build the glutes too. That's right. Build the glutes. <laughs> Tell me, what is your favorite back exercise? Back, um, probably a, maybe you can insert a clip, but probably a bent over row, but it's like deep as you possibly can go. Almost like that, specifically with the barbell, just for loadability purposes. Yeah. Um, but an honorable mention for me would be like a chest supported row, like a steel row. Or if you had a, a, a nice machine that was like a nice chest supported. Um, and then maybe controversial from a lot of people's views, but if you're specifically talking about like lats, my favorite exercise would probably be a, just a cable pullover. Yeah, especially sure, if, yeah. Especially if you can um, put a, like maybe a weighted vest on around or like a weighted belt on to just stabilize better and be able to like increase your loads. Um, but if you look at kind of the top portion or the, the end range of that pullover, the stretch that you get in the lat is just insane. And you know, it's like so much of a length and partial and the, the load is kind of biased in the stretch as well, which is similar for the bent row. They go full range, but yeah. Oh yes, I love when the spine gets that gnarly, gnarly arch. Just when you sit. This one right here is the Zercher deadlift. Extremely awkward if you ask me. Oh, I didn't get it, sorry. Ready? Yeah. Bring that uh, left arm up a little bit. Then just bend down a little bit more at the core. There you go. Now we got dumbbell lat pullover. Absolutely love the way the stretch feels on the lats. Everybody's got their preferences, but I generally prefer doing this with the free weights. Hunter, do you like machine better? Cable pullover? Cable. Both. Which you have a preference? Cable. 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 I mean, I feel like if I was doing cable, 
I would end up preferring that, but I've been doing the dumbbell for so long. Anyway, I have all of my program right now. Oh, okay. This is where the lats stretch. Great for shoulder mobility too. With all these back exercises, all of them are great. And like for the example of the cable lap pullover or the dumbbell lap pullover, it's kind of like, I mean, it's, you're really splitting hairs on you if you like, is the cable better or is the dumbbell better? Why not both? You know what I mean? When you're looking at like creating a program, an optimal program, you should maybe not do everything all at once. That way you could run the dumbbell variation for six months. And it's like, man, you know, this is just kind of like, I don't know, I'm at the top of the dumbbell rack. It's starting to hurt my joints a little bit, so on and so forth. I've, I haven't progressed the movement. Then you can just switch to a cable. You know what I mean? You know, if you're progressing on a lift, say the cable lat pullover or lat prayer, or some people like to call it, because you're like praising. Praising. The gains. Praising the gains gods. The gains gods. But um, with that, for example, you might be getting stronger. You might be building more lat tissue. But another the component to getting stronger, say across like eight weeks or 12 weeks, is that neurological skill component of the movement. So that's why it's like- Adaptation. You know, I would say the idea of like confusing the muscle is probably not really a scientific way to look at it, and it might not be the best way to go about it. You're probably better off sticking to a program for a longer period of time until you're like, oh my gosh, I can't progress, it's hurting me, or maybe you just get like, ah, if I have to do another, Cable lap pullover, I'm literally going to die because I've done it for so long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then change out the movement. So that's that's my take, philosophy. Yep. Yeah, and take these movements, try them. If you're like, man, Hunter says to do full range of motion bent over rows, but all I feel is my spinal rectors and glutes, I don't get anything in my back. It's just not a good exercise for you. Yep. You know what I mean? It's yep. generally a good exercise, but everyone's different. The whitest post-workout meal, white rice with sea salt and plain Greek yogurt. Yep. Look at that form. Mm. Full stretching. Okay, Hunter did a back workout today, but he's gonna try. Does this have to be higher? Because Cece is insisting. On, I am. She's insisting I on believe, seeing. I believe in Hunter. I believe in him too, but he, he, sure. he went hard on that back today. I saw every exercise he did. 30 plus sets of back and that will go. <laughs> okay, what does this sound like? Excuses. Woo, come on. Uh, uh, yeah, oh. see, told you. Hi, Ned. You going again? Oh. Woo. Ooh. Ooh, he's still going. Oh my god. It's not very clean though. Well, that's looking, the goal. We're not looking for clean. We're looking for like when you're doing that kind of weight, that's not Ooh. clean. We don't recommend this, but Tom is going to eagle lift. Yes. Because the season, whole stack. Good. Look at those delts. Oh. You can do pull-ups from there now. Yeah.